Okay, here we are at the cathedral, Notre Dame de Strasbourg, here in Strasbourg, France. This cathedral was built over a hundred and approximately twenty year period, starting in 1015. The cathedral is celebrating its millennium this year, 1015 to 2015. We are in the center of the oldest part of Strasbourg on what is known as the Grand Isle. Strasbourg is broken up into a series of canals in the center of it being a giant island, very much similar to Grand Isle in, um, in outside of Detroit. But uh, this is an incredible Gothic cathedral um, with the classic gargantuan columns and the buttressing on the outside. It's very stark and spartan, but you can see the accentuation, of course, on some mural work, which you'll see in a moment, as well as uh, plenty of stained glass, which is typical of the era. It's an incredible structure. Uh, we will shoot some on the outside as well, but you can tell that um, this has seen uh, a tremendous amount of use. I'm going to turn it around right now and pan through and try to narrate what we're looking at. Okay, so what we're looking at is the central nave. You can see there's illumination here along the main portion of it. If you look upward, right there you can see the um, organ loft. Incredibly well gilded, especially considering that uh, a thousand years ago, you really wouldn't be able to see that. That um, may, it, it very well may have been some kind of ad at a later point during the Baroque era, perhaps. If I had to guess, I would say that's probably it. But I'm going to continue to walk and record so you can really take it all in. I'm going to pan upward with the camera so you can see the organ loft. Honestly, I don't believe there's going to be a single view that can really do this justice in low light and, and from this angle.
can see the main stained glass piece on the rear. Incredible craftsmanship. We'll get a better shot of that in a minute. It's a real remarkable place to be at at Christmas time. You can see, I mean, they do services here, but you can see that they really don't dress it up for the holidays except for some bows and a few ornaments here and there. But Vicki and I have also noticed that uh, it is pretty typical of a lot of places. They don't really overdo it except for at the Christmas marts. That's where it's really, really kicked up to a different level of decoration. Pan around here to the main entrance, which they don't use. They use a side entrance instead of opening those gargantuan doors, which you can just barely see in the shot. And then panning up, you can see the rose window. classic of the era. This one is uh, done in, in golds and greens, which I have not seen um, in other similar cathedrals of the era. But uh, not saying that they don't exist. I've just, I've never seen that color combination before. I'm going to pan out, or going to close out for now, and then come back in a little bit.